What's going on? Move the mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Portsmouth with our Let's Play Season 7, Episode number 21. And I had a heck of a time loading up this save. I had to try multiple times, restart my computer, finally load it up. So, uh, actually, hang on. I had to make a new save file there, just to be safe. So, uh, we last started working on our industrial area over here, but you can see it's having a ton of problems. And uh, one of the things I was reminded about just yesterday, or last night, I should say, was the Industry 4.0 policy. So uh, Campus just came out on consoles, did the live stream last night. And uh, and one of the things that they added in was Industry 4.0 for helping out with uh, some of the education levels and people wanting to work or not want to work in, uh, in industry. So like, let's, let's pause it for a minute. Let's look at one of these places that, that has not enough workers. And there's one highly educated worker here and we don't have uneducated, educated some well, it's mostly all highly educated because we've got good school coverage everywhere. Um, and the Hadron Collider. So a couple things that we need to do today. Uh, one is extend this district out. So let's make sure we're covering all industry here in this pocket. And then we will go to the district specific policies. And I want to say it's on city planning. Yeah. Industry 4.0. So new technologies alter the nature of industry. Uh, all workplaces are for well and highly educated citizens, which is what we have uh, just to confirm. Uh, education? So you can see, like, we've got mostly highly educated people. So, uh, if we go back into policies, uh, city planning, and yeah, industry 4.0, it increases production output by 50%, but reduces the number of workplaces. Not a big deal, though, since... Half this block is going abandoned because it doesn't have enough people working there. So we'll see if that. So we'll see if that makes a difference. I hope that it will. Let's let it play at least on one time speed. And we did hook in uh, Subway in the last episode, so that should help us uh, get people over here and hopefully uh, start getting employed in this area. But let's let that actually let's let that play on three times speed for a minute, and uh, and see what happens over here. I will be right back. In fact, maybe I don't even need to come right back. You can see it's solving the problems already. That's that's fantastic. Let's keep an eye on this building right here. So the problems just went away there and we are full of highly educated workers. So there's four slots for well-educated. All the other ones are full. So that definitely did the trick really fast. So that should help out our industrial area over here. Now I think they'll be a little bit polluted, but I do want to see what this looks like if we fill in this area a little bit with some trees. A smaller brush. Not quite letting me fill in the gaps that I would like to in here, but we'll end up filling this in quite a bit. What have we got going on over here? A bunch of factories. A train to drop the train station and never hooked it up to anything. That's good. Uh, I think I dropped that in just so I could have train tracks to work on this. How's this doing over here? Pretty steady flow of traffic coming in and out. Wow, same thing over here. Look at all the cars. 
All right, so. We've got a ton of industrial demand all of a sudden. That's crazy. Uh, let me see if I can bulldoze these, because this was all dezoned in the last episode. So everything on this side, and maybe I don't even need to bulldoze them. If we bulldoze the roads. I dezoned them, and, and trucks are still coming up there. Maybe they're all U-turning up there? I don't know. This is so satisfying. <laughs> if we've got industrial demand, now is the time to move it. There we go. That's better. And we'll do that. Ooh, I've got my day-night cycle on. Let me uh, let me change that. I know it's a lot easier to see when we're dealing with daylight. Look at all that traffic. That is crazy. That is so crazy. So you can see kind of all this. Even after our improvements, it's still, still starting to bottleneck a little bit coming off the highway at certain times. So we might not want to meet... Uh, seriously? Okay, there we go. Wow, that was a that was a serious bit of lag there. Thought it, I was pretty sure it crashed. Um, so I th like we're kind of getting to capacity here. We don't want to create a ton more truck traffic through here. So maybe we do. I mean, we could do kind of another exit up here. We could do another one down here, maybe to to feed into this side of the zone, and then. Extend this out a little bit? Maybe that would work? I don't know. Um, I was going to do a highway exit ramp. Kind of through here. Have the traffic feeding off to get on the highway. I mean, it's moving, but if we make this zone much larger and have all that extra traffic coming through here that could be problematic maybe hmm we've got the demand though we've got the demand we could split off i guess in this direction kind of do the same thing and that would kind of force traffic left or right did we lane manage over here i think that we did yeah we did um all right well we can come back and think about that Because it might make sense to kind of do the same thing over here. Have this split off into exit ramps that way. Let's see. Let's just frame something out real quick. We use the industrial roads. This one. Is that parallel or is that veering off? It's veering off. Maybe it is parallel. I guess that's pretty good. So we could do something like that. And then have these exit ramps. Uh, where are they? Here. Come off in either direction like that. And meet our some more of our industrial zoning over here. How we get them out of the zone, though, we want to hook them up to this piece that goes to the cargo airport. Is that one way all the way down here? Yeah, it is. Um, so we'd want to deliver them potentially to the airport, but also to our, our exit lane, which we would put on the other side. But we could maybe forego this area up here and just have a, a second side to our industrial area because all this stuff doesn't need to be here, right? This is just, this is holdover. We're gonna move this train station. We can move the power plants, more power plants, more recycling. This stuff can get out of here. So I think that would be a more efficient layout anyways. 
and it would kind of pack things all over here by the airport. Okay, now we're having some resource problems. Ooh, and garbage. Do we have... I don't know if we have a... We don't have a recycling plant over here, do we? Oh, we do. We have one, though. So apparently we need one a little further down. I mean, it's not the end of the world. They'll get there. So, I was thinking. I think what we're going to do... In, in real life, University of New Hampshire is kind of off here, off the edge of the map. We can't do that. We can't do that with the, the map that we've got. Not enough space to build it one-to-one. -one. So I was thinking we could leave a little bit of separation here from the airports. And then kind of use this area down here, a little Seacoast University. And since, um, since campus just came out on console, I figured today might be a good enough day to start in a little canvas project. This isn't going to be the full thing. We're just going to start laying the groundwork because we are still... Are we... Yeah, we did unlock all. That stinks. But let's, let's get started with a little university. So we'll drop a little T-intersection in there. We'll pull these back. And get those connected. We'll come back and fix those directions in just a second. And we've got lots of money to sweep these in better, so that's exactly what I'm doing here. It's just coming back a bit to kind of curve these in. So they get a little split there, that's fine. Um, roads and directions. And we'll do that. And that way we've got a nice highway interchange over here. Maybe what we'll do is A little a little valley underpass here at some point and then bring the traffic back into here what did I just see something was full over here okay so we'll let that play uh, disasters collapse So much quicker. All right. <laughs> Sorry, squirrel. So, let's see. What do we want to do here? It's a lot easier with the, uh, the campus buildings if we stick to some kind of road network. with kind of sharp angles. So I'm thinking for our main kind of campus area, we do, I always like the one way with trees. I, I like doing kind of a, you know, a, a guided approach for the cars, kind of direct them into the main campus area. So if we did something like this, this road might sweep in down here. We'll do, say, about 30 units. Bring it over maybe 20. Before we bring it back up. 
and that can kind of be our campus entrance. Do standard road over here, two-way traffic. And then we can upgrade this after. Let's just do this to kind of freeform this in. So if that meets up, say, right about here, we'll do two lane. We'll do that. So maybe it comes in like that before it starts sweeping back just a little bit. I guess we could upgrade that segment. And then real quick, let's just finish this off, I guess, while we're here. So freeform tool. We'll do that and then just in case, just in case something weird happens here, sometimes does, we'll give cars a way to turn around. And traffic, it's kind of stupid sometimes, so it's going to use the left lane to, to do U-turns there. In this case, we don't want that happening. So we're going to force the traffic coming off the highway to come off the highway because that's what you should be doing. Can you allow U-turns? Oh, you totally can. So I could have done that instead of this, but I think this will keep the traffic flowing just a little bit better. So we've got... Whoa, why are these trees not... Why are these trees in the road? We we don't want you in the road. I remember when I used to get rocks all the time. I haven't seen that in a while. Trees though, apparently. There's another one. What's up with that? This one looks a little suspicious too. All right, well, I guess we could delete all these trees. Um, we'll, we'll just come in here. Maybe come in with a tree brush. Or a giant collapse. Turn his strength all the way up. We'll uh, we'll fill this area in with trees afterwards, but that way we've got some room to work with, and it won't overwrite the roads, which is a little silly. Okay, so. Let's do this. Uh, where is... Where's the campus area tool? Is that under... That's going to be under districting. Yeah. Man, it's, a, it's the little differences between uh, PC and console sometimes that throw me off. So is that the big brush? Let's just use the big brush. We'll we'll call all this coastal area our our campus for right now. And can I rename it? I can. Portsmouth University, PU. So I think for this one we'll just do a traditional school. A traditional university campus area. So we'll drop in our main administration building kind of right right here on the center of this. If we can center it. Looks like we can. So there we go. PU. I guess we'll pause. And before I forget... Uh... Collider, disable university boost. So, 
we'll want to make sure that our other universities that we provided are doing good coverage. Let's hit play. Okay, we've got 9,000 capacity. Everybody's already graduated. So we'll have to keep an eye on that, but where do we have actual... And this is confusing. I'll have to check this out. We've turned off university boost, so our capacity is back down to default. But the collider still highlights as a university building. So I think people can still go there for, for schooling, I think. We don't have good university coverage up this way, so maybe we drop one more in. What kind of budget do we have? I don't want people to not be educated. So let's drop one in right over here for now while we get this sorted out. Let it play and kind of see where school coverage is at. It looks like we're pretty good in the green most places. A little bit light over here. Which is kind of odd. I feel like that drops off really fast in this area. But it's it's green on both sides. So a little light over here, but people haven't finished moving in over this way. So we should be good. This this should cover us for now while we get things up and running over here. And we'll expand this one slow because I have bankrupted a city before by doing this. So absolutely, what do we need? Dormitories. There's There's no way around it. We don't have any student capacity until we do that. So we'll go back into our main university building and we'll drop in... Well, let's not let's not drop in anything yet. Let's set up a couple paths here. We'll set up a little square here in the center. And we'll do that kind of right on the edge of that zoning. And let's see what, like, the study hall, university fountain. Maybe we'll put that kind of here in the center. And then there is a study hall, an outdoor study hall. Ooh, it's big. It's really big. Um, I mean, I guess we could rethink this a little bit. That might be kind of cool right here. Ooh, do I need to come in here and flatten this terrain? <laughs> what the heck? Why would that raise up like that? Let's, let's, can we, uh, let's move it. Ugh. Okay, okay, terrain didn't update there for a minute. Um, that was interesting. It's this over here that's throwing us off. So let's fix that real quick, because that's going to bother me. If our, our beautiful quad is, is a mess of mounds. Uh, smoothing level. So let's level all that. Let's see kind of what our what our terrain looks like around here. Maybe we can kind of work with that curve right there. That'll be pretty good. We'll do that. We'll sort of curve up to the other side of the road there. And, and that should be fine. So back to roads. Tree line one way. All right. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that four lane. Okay, so that's that looks a little bit better. 
this became a bridge. That's interesting. Uh, try that again. Okay, there is a tool. Fine road tools. Uh, forces. Ground to follow the elevation of the road. I think this will, will fix us. There we go. That's really handy. You can force creation of a bridge, force elevation, force following the road when it does stuff like that. Why is this creating... Why is this creating crosswalks there, though? Why game? Okay, so we will use the force ground. Uh, that wasn't one way, though. <laughs> okay. There we go. So we've got this little loop. I'm going to pause it. I mean, it's bringing people in, bringing people out, and then we can kind of spider off of that into different areas. Um, we maybe we'll do like sports and stuff up here towards the airport where it gets a little louder. But at the very least, I think we need like a little dormitory complex. So let's get some paths connected and we'll plan that out at least to start so that students have some place to live. So we'll bring that down that way. We'll do another one, another footpath here if it'll let us, yeah. I think that it will. So it will let us do that. Where will it let us connect here? I don't know if I want to anarchy that. They could just walk around on the pavement. That's fine. Walk on the sidewalk. So we'll do this over here. And we'll make a couple rows for kind of dormitory housing right here. Now I just want to see what will fit. So it looks like we could do back to back there and then have another one over here. So we'll, we'll start right here. And we'll come just a little bit off of here. In fact, maybe we do... Let's do the study hall here. So there's a little bit of a buffer from the, the main central area here. So we'll do that. This is the dorm, right? So a little bit of space there, and we'll kind of line these up right across from one another as best we can. We can always move it later. And that gives us capacity for 600 students. It's 300 per dormitory. If we wanted, I guess we could do one here. Kind of center this on the study hall building. And throw out my theory that I just said about keeping a little bit of a buffer for them off the quad. Just to see what that looks like. And that gives us what? Uh, Fifteen hundred, right? Yeah, wow. I don't know why that... Why that math was confusing to me. Um, I feel like we'll move this at some point, but this is just to get us started. In fact, that's way too much to get us started. I bankrupted myself before doing this. Gotta stop doing this. We'll start with this and we will reserve this area for dormitories and we'll do something different with that. Um, but let's, let's drop something in. We're going we're gonna to drop some assets in and then kind of figure out where they go after the fact. We'll work on different little areas of the campus. Um, we did do a study hall. We'll want groundskeeping.
We did the outdoor study. We'll do the gym. Cafeteria. We'll do everything up until the fountain, which was this one. Okay. So that's sort of a that's sort of a start. This is not this is not where things are going. We just want to. We I, I want to plop these things down, see how big they are, see where they fit, uh, before we kind of figure out where to put everything. Um, now a lot of these assets don't necessarily require road access. I don't think these do. I think these are fine on paths. I know dormitories are fine on paths. Um, so we'll start figuring out a little bit of a framework here. Let's get some of the basic utilities in though, because nobody's going to come to a university. Well, I was going to say, why isn't, why isn't power showing, but I'm showing water. So yeah, why would, why would power show on, on my water network? It wouldn't though with the electric roads, you can conduct electricity via, via water pipes. So let's get this hooked into the system first. So water coverage there, if we look at electric, electricity is fine. Um, we will want a little campus police station. We'll throw it here for now. And of course, campus fire and a little med clinic for dealing with that burning sensation after a questionable night of drinking. One more thing we should do, since this is out in the middle of nowhere, is extend metro coverage. We'll drop it right in the middle of our square there. Uh, freeform it. And we'll hook it into two different lines. So we'll do that. I did say free form it and then I broke out the curve tool, but that's totally fine. So we're gonna do two new Metro lines. One that gets us from the red line to university and one that gets us from the yellow, the green line to university. And both of those became green. So let's fix that. It's gonna be Metro line five and six, I assume. Uni red, we'll call it uni red for now because it's the red line that connects. Let me make that a little bit different, a little bit lighter, a little pinkish. Uh, that works. And then this one is going to be uni green. Right, that's that one. Yeah, okay. It just doesn't seem a different enough color. Okay, we'll, we'll just do that. So hopefully that will encourage some people to come up to the university. I'm before, before I get too crazy with this. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to see how this does. I'm going to see, we're tracking 35 students, so that's not too bad. Um, we'll see how that does. I want to keep an eye, uh, an eye on education levels in the city. So before I expand this campus and, and get all crazy designing it, I want to make sure it's effective. Because uh, out of all the cheats, I did turn on unlock all. I don't like the unlimited money. I like, I like making the city work. And... It's very easy to bankrupt the city, I know from experience. So we'll see how this does before we, you know, plan everything out and 
um, arrange things very carefully. Uh, I just wanted a, a bare bones kind of functioning start to this. So this is this is very much a stage one. This is just dropping the buildings in and uh, and getting started on this project. But um, yeah, take it from me, learn from experience that uh, it's very easy to uh, to lose a lot of money on a university. So we want to see if we can make this um, successful from an education perspective for the city and also monetarily. And uh, we will continue to do that. We really need, though, in the next episode, I think, to plan this out. I think I think what I'm going to do is is split this off. Please don't crash. I'm going to split this off into a second half, and we will we'll scrap this. We'll deliver them on the highway up to cargo, and then take both sides into a highway loop that gets back on the highway, but. But as you can see, that could be problematic. <laughs> so maybe we don't build more industry in here. Um, or maybe what I need to do is get a cargo train carrying stuff in and out of here. That might help out a lot because all these buildings need resources and they're getting uh, delivered via truck right now. If they're getting delivered via train, that might offload um, a lot. So maybe... Maybe cargo yard connected to the cargo airport. Maybe that'll be the next step. And then we'll figure out if we can double the size of this. Because we don't want to create a traffic problem. We got enough traffic problems happening already. We are at 79%. So there's some really bad spots. But but overall, I mean, the, the residential areas are great, right? Very quiet. And considering how few cars are on the road, it surprises me how many cars are parked on the street. Because they're not driving around. They can't. They can't because of Old Town. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you did, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe for more. Hit the bell to get notifications. Uh, follow me on Twitter, though I'm not the most active on there. A uh, better place to get in touch is on the Discord. So come and discuss games with uh, other fans of the channel. It's uh, It's a great community, so stop on by. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. At least I try. And uh, until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.